Hello, this is a video for the 10th grade A and B. Uh, good morning, I hope you are all well in your houses, in your homes, with your families, taking care. You know that we are going through tough times and we all have to collaborate. To continue with our lessons, we are going to see today something about the conditionals. In English, there are four conditionals. Today, we are going to see two of them the zero conditional and the first conditional. I am sure you have seen these in previous years, but today we are going to make a review so you can refresh your memory. Okay, we are going to see, as I said, the zero conditional and the first conditional. When we use conditionals, we always use if or when, when we start a sentence, okay? The conditionals uh, are used in the case of the zero conditional when we are talking about scientific things. Things that are 100% sure. Things that we cannot change. For example, if we don't wash carefully our hands, we catch the virus. Okay? Here you have an example. It says, if ice melts, it becomes water. It means that when we put ice under something hot, like the sunlight, it is going to become water. It won't become, I don't know, chocolate or candy or no. It's only going to become water. So this means that it is 100% sure. Okay? The formula, as you can see, is if, okay, plus the subject, plus the, ba the verb in its base form, then we have a subject and another base verb, all right? This is what um, we have as a formula. I hope that once you can see and watch this video one more time in your houses, with a little bit more of time, you can copy this in your notebook because it's going to be useful. You know that we are going to be uh, placing tests and grading um, for the next parcial. So part of your exams are going to be what we are seeing right now. As a homework, I would like you in your notebook to write 10 sentences using the zero conditional. Remember, zero conditional, scientific things. Things that can be proved with no doubt, that are for sure, okay? Let's continue now with another conditional that we have to see. And it is the first conditional. This conditional is used for things that are not scientific things that are not 100% true or sure, okay? Things that are probable. So if we are going to use things that are probable, we are going to use the models that we already studied in our sentences. I have here an example. If I go to the movies, I will or may or might or could eat popcorn. This means that it's not for sure that when I go to the movies, I will all the time eat popcorn. Sometimes I might eat uh, candy or I might uh, drink a cola, all right? So, as I said, things that are probable. The formula is if plus the subject plus the base verb. Up to here, it is the same formula as the zero conditional. What changes is in the second part. We have the subject, the model, and the base verb. Remember that in the conditionals, we always separate with a comma, okay? Uh, here you have the formula and the homework. Write 10 sentences using the first conditional. Both homeworks that I'm sending right now, today is Tuesday, I would like you to develop them and send me next Tuesday, okay? Uh, please 
be aware of your mails your personal mails because through the mail i will be contacting you and sending maybe more exercises the only way that we have to contact our students right now is through the edk system through the mail All right sometimes you're not going to find it in tareas you're going to see it in your mail so please i insist check your mail okay take good care try to rest try to get some sunlight eat good things healthy things because we have to improve our immune system in order to avoid this virus that is really keeping us very very much worried okay i miss you a lot i really enjoy having you in the school in our classes all the noise that you make that sometimes upsets the teachers but finally that is what we are missing right now the contact the human contact so until we meet again i send you all my love take care please and bye bye see you next time